はいはい皆さん私はずしですようこそ私の YouTube チャンネルです Hi everybody so thank you thank you so much for watching the first of the mini series I did about reading your comments um yeah I'm really really pleased with the result you guys asked me so many questions and I'm so glad that you guys responded so nicely to them because I hadn't really done anything like that before and I didn't know what you guys were going to say and I didn't know how you guys were going to feel about it but I seem to get a really nice response from you guys so thank you so much for that. In terms of what I'm wearing, I just figured I'd try something this time. I'm going to try and dress like really different in every video just because I haven't really been dressing up as much as I used to so I thought I'd go for like pastel goth kind of thing today. I hope you guys like it because I'm going to try all sorts of different things so if you don't like it you can let me know if, how you feel. Um, so yeah, I am going to do a new set of videos answering more questions because I've got a whole bunch of questions to answer from you guys now, new questions and um, I'm going to start by going back to the first video out of the three um, answering your comments uh, videos and I'm going to have a little scroll down and I'm going to try and answer like one question at a time. I'm going to try not to spend too long on them this time, so let's go. Okay, so my first couple of questions is from Rosie811Honey. Hi! So this is, a, um, this is a viewer that has actually watched a lot of my videos and they comment on a lot of my videos, which I'm so, so grateful for. Um, you're always really sweet and you've got really lovely things to say. So thank you so much for asking me some questions. Um, so your questions are, what are your favorite stories, environment, settings, weapons, and characters from game books? And do you like Beast Quest books? I actually have never played any Beast Quest books. Um, I've heard of them. Um, I have heard of them, I've seen them in shops, but I have never actually played them, so I don't actually know what they are. Um, in terms of game books, there aren't me I haven't really played many. Um, Fighting Fantasy was kind of the only one I've really played, and even then I haven't played enough of them to know what my favourite settings and characters are. In terms of like characters that you play, I've always done the whole, I've always done the bit where you create your own character, so you create your own background and stuff, and then you roll the dice in order to get the right amount of stats and um, strength and stamina and stuff. So I've never played as the custom made characters, um, the uh, default characters. Um, in terms of settings, again, I haven't played enough different books to know which ones I like. I still really love, it's going to be really boring to say this, but the Warlock of Fire Top Mountain, I really, I love being in the dungeons. Although, I there are a couple that I have that I'm look, really looking forward to playing. Like, I, I've got, um, oh, I can't remember what it's called now, but I've got the Werewolf one, and I really, really want to play that. Like, I'm really looking forward to playing that one. In fact, the, uh, just the other day, I found another fighting fantasy book um, at a charity shop literally about a week ago and I was so excited that I found it and it was a second edition version of the books which are like my favourite my favourite versions of fighting fantasy books um, I really hate fighting orcs and goblins and stuff they're so they're really annoying and they're boring there's one character in the Warlock of Firetop Mountain I don't want to ruin it but I think it's like here I think it's someone screaming or something like that, and then you have to decide whether you want to go in or not. I always go in. Um, well, sometimes if I hear horrible noises, I don't. But with this particular character, I always go in because I, for some reason, I really like this character. You go in, and it's this guy, and he's got the chains. He's like chained to the wall, but he's floating, and his hair is like flying around. I, oh, I think he's like screaming, and he's like asking for help. And you have to decide whether you're gonna help him, leave him, or just like stab him. There's always an option to just stab everything. I never just stab everything. Um, I can't remember, but that character is really cool. Actually, hang on, let me see if I can find it. Let's see if I can find it. 
So unfortunately I don't have the book with me. I think I left it at my friend's house, which is annoying because I've got like two copies of it and I've left both copies at their house, so I can't actually show you the character. But when I get a chance I will find the book and I will take a picture and I will show you the character. But I thought while I'm here I may as well show you the uh, fighting fantasy books that I do have. So as you'll remember from like my really really early videos I went to the book signing of the latest book to come out which was Blood of the Zombies. And here it is, my trusty copy by Ian Livingston to me, zombie number 13. That was me, because I was 13th in the queue. Oh yeah! So yeah, um, so I'm going to be perfectly honest, I still haven't played it yet. And I do intend on playing all the books that I have, and even though I've never got around to playing them, that doesn't mean that I... I'm going to stop collecting the books because I really like them and I do intend on playing them. So I got this one, Sword of the Samurai, which I really, really want to play because obviously it's based in Japan. Samurais. I also got this one autograph. So this one's really special for me. Ah, my dolls! They keep falling down. Mm -hmm. That one, anyway. <laughs> Um, yeah, uh, again, in one of my early videos, I talked about all the different books that you can get in the series, and I mentioned this one, and the author, I think one of the co-writers of this book, actually left me a message on my video, um, which was really cool. Here's the Mummy, which I really want to play, and then Armies of Death. Which I'm not necessarily that keen on the idea of, like, I'm not really into, like, war and battles and big battles and stuff, but it's second edition wizard book, um, print, so I gotta get it because of that. And this one, uh, Crypt of the Sorcerer, which I'm actually really quite curious, because he kind of looks like an alien. Um, yeah, I don't really don't know much about these books, so I kind of been trying not to find out much about them because when I play them, I kind of want things to be a surprise. So I try not to learn much about them so that when I play them, everything's new. But then again, you know, I've played I've played Warlock of Firetop Mountain so many times that I should really try a new book. So if I do try doing a book read through thing, like a let's play thing, then I might try it with a new book. Out of these books, which one do you want me to try and do a playthrough of? So we've got Crypt of the Sorcerer, Armies of Death, Curse of the Mummy, Howl of the Werewolf, Sword of the Samurai, Blood of the Zombies, and of course War Warlock on Firetop Mountain, which is at my friend's house currently. But I've got the sheet ready, so let me know which one you want me to play and then we can discover what our favourite weapons are together. So another thing that Rosie Honey mentions is Lone Wolf books. I've, again, I've heard of them, but still don't really know what they are. I really want to play them though, because what I've heard about them is really cool. Like, they sound really good, and um, so they're definitely a book that I'm going to try to pick up. I mean, like I said, I've never even gotten around to playing the fighting fantasy books yet, but hopefully I can do that soon and I want to at least look into finding them but books. Um, yeah, I don't know how hard that's going to be though because finding Finding Fantasy books is pretty hard already. So trying to find Lone Wolf books, I'm not, I don't know how that's going to work. But we'll see. I'll look it up online and see what I can find. So the next one is by Michael La Selection. Hi! So they say, hmm, this is a video where the questions were already asked. It was some kind of live stream that you did? Question mark? No, it's not a live stream. What I did was I looked at past questions and then just answered them all and then uh, split them into separate videos because by the end of it, it was too long so I had to separate it into shorter videos um, and I tried to do it kind of uh, category based. But um, as for live streams, I'd love to do a live stream. I would love to do one. 
it's just a case of, you know, I'm terrified of doing a live stream and there's no one on the other side watching me. Because I'd really like to interact with more of you, so if that's something you're up for, then I'm totally up for it as well. But you gotta let me know. Again, communication is key. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Um, again, thank you for watching the last ones I did. Um, your reaction encouraged me to do another one like this and I hope you like this one even more. It, I would really appreciate it if you liked and followed me on Facebook, that would be amazing. Let me know what book you want me to do a playthrough of. Um, I will definitely do a let's play now that I know you guys are up for it. Yeah. Arigatou gozaimasu minasan. Sayonara. Mata ne. Bye bye. so many. You have no idea how many dolls I have. And they all have names. And I've got more up there as well. And I've got figurines too. If you want to know their names, you should, you should ask in the comment section.